Hi everyone, let's look into how to automate workflow processes in CRM. To start automating your workflows, click on Settings and navigate to Automation. In here, click Workflow. As you can see here, there are three tabs. The Workflow Templates provide you with the pre-made templates. The Created Workflows tab lists the customized workflows. The History tab shows the report on workflow execution. Now, let's create a workflow with templates. There are six ready-made templates. I'm choosing the first template. Here, I'm entering all the necessary details. I am enabling and saving the workflow. As you can see here, the created workflow is listed in the Created Workflows tab. Now, let us see how to create new workflows. You need to click on Create New in this tab. I'm giving the workflow name Qualified Leads. and adding a description too. For workflow automation, at first, we need to add a trigger. Before we proceed further, let us understand different types of triggers. Triggers are two types, event-based triggers and time-based triggers. Event-based triggers are used to initiate the workflow when an action occurs. Contrarily, time-based triggers are used to initiate the workflow after predefined time intervals. Now, let's create an event-based workflow. I'm creating lead as a trigger. I'm adding a condition. And I'll set up an action. Here, I am choosing send email as an action. I have added all the details here. Now, let's save the workflow and proceed to test it. I am creating a new lead and ensuring the condition criterion has been met. This will trigger the workflow. Let's go back to workflow automation to check the execution status. You can see here, in the history tab, the workflow has been executed successfully. You can also view the details of execution by clicking on the workflow. Now, let's look into creating a time-based workflow. Click on Create New. Enter workflow details. Now, let's add a trigger and choose the trigger type as a time-based trigger. Let's define the time period for executing the workflow and apply the trigger. I'm also adding a condition and an action and customizing it according to our requirements. Now, the workflow is set up. I'm enabling the workflow. This will trigger the workflow whenever the condition is met. Here you can see the email that has been received. We can also check the status of the workflow in the History tab. Now, you know how to automate your workflows. So, go ahead and start exploring.